Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking and uh, briefly discussing hemorrhoids and how interventional audiology has uh, and is con constantly innovating to help patients. So hemorrhoids are well known uh, and quite prevalent amongst patients. They, they are caused by those bulging vein in the anus that cause um, various symptoms that can be quite debilitating sometimes. Essentially hemorrhoids can be classified in two types, the internal and the external. Uh, the external are uh, easy to recognize they cause bulging, itching, and of course bleeding and uh, pain. And uh, typically the patient will know quickly about them because they will have folds or bulges in the skin there. External hemorrhoids are innervated, much less the rest of the skin of the body. So the, if one has to have a, a cut or a pinch or a pull at the external hemorrhoids, it hurts very badly. Internal hemorrhoids are inside of the anal canal so they are inside and uh, the internal hemorrhoids they don't really cause sharp pain or pain sensation because uh, of lack of nerves there but if there's a bulge for example of the level of the internal hemorrhoids patient might have a feeling that they have not completely emptied the rectum after a bowel movement hemorrhoids have been classified in uh, Four grades according to the severity of hemorrhoids from grade 1 where there's no prolapse and just some prominent blood vessels all the way to grade 4 where there is a prolapse which is uh, impossible to reduce uh, manually. Hemorrhoids whether internal or external can manifest with a range of symptoms according to their grades of course. So those symptoms starts from itching, from pain, from sensations around the anus, from bowel movement issues, uh, from uh, issue of bleeding and etc. So all these can negatively affect the uh, patient's uh, quality of life and uh, health as well as uh, may also impact his social life. So. Uh, we said that the external uh, hemorrhoids basically because they have the same innervation as the skin and the same nerves can be responsible for uh, the pain, the sharp pain and the itching, especially if you have a, an injury at the level of the external hemorrhoids or a cut. Whereas the internal hemorrhoids may be responsible for more uh, symptom like incomplete sensation of empty and however one of the uh, most uh, problematic symptom is the, is the issue of bleeding and this type of bleeding can be either an ongoing bleeding that can uh, manifest times and times again all the way to some very catastrophic bleed or even life-threatening hemorrhage and this is where interventional radiology is classically has been uh, consulted when uh, there's no possibility to stop the hemorrhage for example in cases somebody is not a surgical candidate advanced age comorbidities precluding him from uh, undergoing invasive surgery to stop the bleeding or he's taking some medication uh, that makes the blood thin for example antiplatelet therapy aspirin etc or blood thinners and he happens also to have hemorrhoids any issue at that time can be uh, really serious even though hemorrhoids are not lethal by themselves they're not a life-threatening condition but sometimes the consequences of the uh, uh, the hemorrhoids and the uh, lack of uh, therapeutic alternative can be uh, really problematic for this patient so we're going to talk about a little bit how interventional radiology can help what are the new developments in the field and uh, what has been uh, developed mainly in Europe. Before that, we're going to talk about the management and also the diagnosis of hemorrhoids when patients go to the physician. When patients come to the physician complaining of hemorrhoids, the doctor will uh, talk to them about it exactly what her symptoms are and will ask the quality and the frequency of bleeding as well as and whether it's associated with incontinence, bulging or problems with itching and uh, typically the doctor would perform an examination in which he will look at the hemorrhoids uh, both inside and outside of the anus as well as an anoscopic examination to look at them inside the anus. For 
an external hemorrhoids that has thrombose depending on the duration of the symptoms and uh, whether the symptoms have improved or not doctors will either uh, advise the patient to keep the hemorrhoid and suffer through it or go ahead and excise it in the office the most common treatment approach for internal hemorrhoid in the USA is hemorrhoid banding which is an office-based procedure where the doctor placed a tiny little rubber band around the hemorrhoid causing the blood supply of the hemorrhoids to be cut off and then about four or five days this uh, hemorrhoid actually slough off with this bowel movement and patient usually don't even notice that um, as uh, this is probably one of the uh, usual treatment offered because it, it caused much less pain there are other operative treatments that can be performed with a laser ablation, infrared ablation, staple therapy, local regional injection of scler sclerosant, uh, or arterial ligation. And uh, these are all considered uh, first line treatment. When uh, all uh, first line therapy and medication fails, then the patient has to undergo surgery. The problem with surgery or operative hemorrhoidectomy, it's extremely painful. It's one of the most painful operations on planet Earth and should be done as last uh, treatment option uh, because of the pain that is a consequence of this uh, type of surgery. So let's hear it from the mouth of physician performing this type of interventions. The operative hemorrhoidectomy is probably one of the most painful operations on the planet. <laughs> I encourage patients to try all other uh, measures uh, prior to proceeding with operative hemorrhoidectomy, but some hemorrhoid disease is only going to be fixed with operative treatment. If a patient were to elect to have an operative hemorrhoidectomy, uh, I typically advise patients that if they need uh, an operative hemorrhoidectomy, they are going to be quite sore. Uh, they are probably going to not feel like going to work or doing any uh, important activities for at least a week, and they're going to know they had surgery and maybe even still wish they didn't for another couple of weeks after that. So is there any other option to this painful procedure? Yes, uh, interventional radiology is now actively looking and researching other options for patients who have failed the medical treatment and don't want to undergo invasive and painful surgery. And this option is embolization. So if you're uh, a subscriber to the channel, you should know by now what embolization is and what are the principles of interventional radiology. So for those who are new interventional radiologists or physician trained in using highly technical equipment to perform procedures from a pinhole in the skin, typically through the wrist of the patient and the local anesthesia only. And uh, the good news in the uh, hemorrhoids is now there is a technique called emboroids that allow us to treat the hemorrhoids through the radial artery. So the radial artery is this artery that we see in the wrist. We, uh, the physician will uh, introduce and get inside the vascular system under local anesthesia. The advantage is there's no need to operate or do any kind of intervention in the rectum or the anus to do any excision because we think now that uh, hemorrhoids have a vascular origin. There's too much blood flow going to the anal region. So simply we're going to use embolization technique to reduce the blood flow and this has proven to be efficient especially in those patients who are not surgical candidates who especially if they bleed uh, tremendously from the hemorrhoids. So once we get access to the vascular system we use the x-ray equipment to navigate uh, inside the human body all the way down to the rectum where we occlude those vessels. So of course there is a technique to do it, not the um, physician has to be trained in those techniques um, and the advantage is it's done through the wrist and the local anesthetic which is very very well tolerated by the patient. So again these uh, 
our techniques are under investigation. The publications that we have are coming mainly from Europe. And here we see images from a real case where the physician has entered the artery that feeds the rectum and uh, the arrows shows those metallic coils that will block the blood vessels feeding the hemorrhoids. These, these are called the hemorrhoidal arteries. Once these blood vessels are blocked, there's less flow and the patient typically do very well. Uh, currently, the success rate is about 70% uh, of patients who present a clinical success rate with this technique. So hemorrhoids are not a life-threatening situation and uh, you can keep them without uh, any intervention. It's not typically life-threatening. The good news now is interventional radiology is actively looking into uh, the subject and uh, we should come up uh, soon with a solution that should be a good compromise between uh, first-line therapies and invasive surgery. Thank you.